how you doing today? I'm in the forest in Austria and I want to sleep at my cousin's property in the forest and all I have with me is this survival rucksack and yeah yesterday we had a lot of rain so everything is moist and I don't have to worry too much about a forest fire Spring has just arrived in Austria and the leaves are now coming out of the bud so that's really awesome yeah this winter was a real mess you know so I'm really glad that we have now summer or springtime and that it's getting warmer all right so this is a great find some birch bark and I'm going to take it with me because this is going to be my tinder for the fire okay folks so down here is the creek and over there is a nice flat spot and now I'm going to check it out and see if it's good for camping for tonight so I found this very sweet spot by the small creek here's the creek and that's where I want to camp and yeah usually you should not camp so close to the creek but uh, we already had a flooding yesterday and today there's no more rain so I know that this um, this creek won't rise in the night and there won't be any flash floods Okay, I'm ready with the top and now I have to go search for firewood. Seems to be rather dry, at least I hope so. That's really awesome firewood, bone dry. Okay, as you can see, the birch bark is a little bit bad, but that doesn't matter to this tinder because it contains essential oils, which burn like hell.
All right, so I went for a green stick like this one here and now I'm carving a spike on it because today I don't have a grill with me but I have some meat in there and I want to spike it onto the stick and then roast it over the fire. So now I make sure that I debark the branch because sometimes there can be bacteria on the branch and I really want to get rid of them. Alright, so I have my fork, which is pretty sharp, but before I'm going to roast the meat, I first want to cool my beer in the creek. And today I have some gluten-free beer with me. And actually, um, I'm very sensible to gluten, so every time I eat it, I have like belly ache, and then I feel very, very tired. And now I'm gluten-free for a couple of months, and I just feel so much better. I have so much energy, you know. And um, yeah, I'm just not exhausted that easily anymore. So gluten-free is really the best diet for me. And now let's cool the beer. All right, so now I want to sanitize the fork. And heat is the best way to do that, actually. Okay, this should be fine now. Let's put the meat on. Here and here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's the right distance. So if you can hold your hand for about five seconds, then it's a good distance to the fire. Oh. It's a very warm fire actually, so my legs aren't burning. So I call myself a lazy bushcrafter or survivalist because uh, at other YouTube channels I often see, you know, fancy uh, pot hangers and and whatnot. So I'm always too lazy to make myself a pot hanger or a makeshift grill. And all I need is a fork and a stick. So that's really my way of cooking. Others call it primitive survival. I call it lazy bushcrafting. The meat is done. It's nice and white. So I don't have to worry about getting sick. And now I'm just using a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I'm having mayonnaise. And ketchup. And mustard. And on top of that I'm going to eat gluten-free bread. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah. Mm. Ah. So good. 
I have to get the beer. Oh, look at that. That's an animal. I think it's maybe a frog or something. Yep, yeah, it's going to be a frog. Here's another one. Beer. Prost. Earlier I heard an owl, owl, <laughs> that's weird, I heard an owl, okay, and yeah, it was flying over there somewhere, so once I saw it at daytime, it was beautiful, quite a big bird like this or so, really beautiful. Did you hear that? Awesome. Yeah, it's really awesome to sit out here in the wilderness, in the forest alone. I consider myself very lucky. I'm very happy that I can do YouTube videos for full time. And yeah, actually it was a lifesaver for me because before YouTube I was an accountant in an accountant's firm working 40 hours and yeah, I have to say um, the job was not bad. It's a good and honest job, but I felt like trapped inside of the office you know so I felt like being in a cage and in a human treadmill I was never so happy and I always looked out of the window and I was yearning for the wilderness and after a couple of years I got a full burnout so I couldn't even read the newspaper because I couldn't concentrate anymore and then it said for me yeah game over you know but then gladly the monetization of YouTube was possible and so I could make a living from YouTube. So it really saved me actually. YouTube saved me from being a wreck. And yeah, now I make uh, YouTube videos full time. I can share my passion with other people and I feel really blessed. So I'm very thankful. That's a pretty good fire lay. I have laid one piece across and the other one's this way and this way. The logs on top get a lot of oxygen and they burn very, very good, almost without smoke. And today I didn't pay a lot of attention to the wind, so I just set up my shelter and actually I got pretty lucky because the wind is coming from up there, from the stream, and the smoke is going this way, sideways, to the shelter. As you can see, the smoke here is not going into the shelter. so. It's going this way, which is super awesome. And yeah, this is beech wood. It's very hard wood and one of the best woods for uh, fire because it doesn't have any resin in it. It burns very long because it's a hard wood. It burns very hot because it's a hard wood and it doesn't, you know, spark as much as for example, the other wood here, which is spruce. So that's a pretty calm fire. And now I want to go to the stream and see if I can see more animals in the creek. Ah, here you can see two animals. It's actually a fly, a larvae. It's not coming out. So basically there's a fly larvae living in this um, cone. And if you have to find some bait for fishing, this is the perfect bait, okay? So fish love this larvae. So, and these are actually a sign for good water quality. You won't find these in waters which have a bad quality. And here we can see another frog. Okay, I think I found a leech. This one here. And yeah, it can bite you and suck out your blood. This is really a gross animal. Wow. 
It's so gross. <sighs> Today it's actually pretty hot because uh, for two or three days we have now the the hot air from Sahara, the desert in Africa, and all of the cars were covered with this dust from the Sahara and today it's really warm so like three weeks ago it was snow and now it's really warm I can sit with a t-shirt by the fire okay it's 10 now almost 10 I'm not tired enough to go to bed and there's not a lot of work around here anymore I've ate all of my food and now I'm just gonna sit by the fire and today I want to make a shout out to another youtuber which is called Canadian Prepper and yeah as the name implies he is a prepper and I really like watching his videos and I also got this bug out roll here from him it was a present so uh, really awesome product just uh, take a look at his website if you are interested in that and yeah he is a really smart prepper one of the smartest that I've ever seen he puts a lot of thought in his videos and uh, in the beginning of my YouTube career I've never considered myself a prepper I was more you know just a survivalist and camping person but the older I get I really like the idea of you know prepping and yeah I don't know so I think I can be both you know both a survivalist and a prepper so by the way this is his YouTube channel which you can check out I'm going to put a link in the description of this video so really interesting videos and yeah check out this channel and I've already started prepping a little bit I've started with my garden so I haven't had a lot of time lately because I was really working my ass off in my garden in the last three weeks and I was doing a lot of digging and uh, I laid some stones and I planted shrubs, edible shrubs, you know, fruit shrubs, fruit trees, apples, pear, uh, figs and blueberries, um, raspberries, blackberries and all kinds of berries. So even if it's not a very large scale garden, I can still get a lot of, you know, vegetables out of it and fruits. And yeah, actually in Europe, um, fruits and vegetables, especially organic ones, are very, very expensive and they get more expensive every year. It's insane what you pay for just a little uh, pack of blueberries. So yeah, my plan is that I save some money with my garden and I grow my own organic food now. And that's what I like, you know. So actually people have done that the last centuries here in Europe. I grew up at the countryside and I remember that every house, which was basically a farmer's house, had a small vegetables garden in the garden, you know. And now, nowadays the young people, they are not so eager to do the gardening work anymore. They just want to have a swimming pool, which is also cool. And yeah, I've, <laughs> I have nothing against swimming pools, but also um, if you can afford that, why not, you know, uh, make your own vegetables garden and yeah so that's what I'm doing right now and that's pretty awesome when you grow your own food and this way you can save a lot of money it's not only for the prepping purpose you know it's also for saving money
to watch out for ticks. Last year I got like 12 ticks or so. Okay, that's it guys. I'm really warm. It's because of the warm air from Africa. And yeah, really comfortable. I'm sure that I'm having a great night, so yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, folks. It's almost six o'clock in the morning. Okay, so most people think that this fire is out and then they would leave, but actually in the fire there are still coals and I can feel the warmth, it's very warm actually. So it's important that you never leave a fireplace like this. And today I have brought this uh, waterproof sack here and now I'm going to collect some water and pour it over the coals. No heat and also no steam so this fireplace is really out now and now I can cover it with some leaves so that I leave no trace before I go I want to tell you something really strange so when I was lying here in the night I was looking to the log here and I saw some strange green light which was just very faint so I couldn't take a picture with the camera and when I switched on the light uh, it came from these white spots here so apparently um, I don't know what this is it's a white mushroom or anything uh, it is luminescent, so I've never seen this before. I also don't know what this really is, so maybe you have an idea what this is and maybe leave me a comment below. So it was a uh, very faint green light and I was really confused about it. I switched on the flashlight and it came definitely from the white spots on the log. So that's the first time I've ever witnessed something like this. And yeah, that's pretty cool and maybe you know what it is. So this was where I was sleeping last night and now it looks completely untouched. I'm a fan of leaving no trace. I also have taken my beer bottle with me and yeah, it's important that you take your chunk with you. Yeah folks, so this is it. This was my first springtime overnighter 2018. I want to thank you for watching. Please don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. 
and also you can hit the notification bell here on YouTube so that you get notified of every upload. Thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.